What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to share with you all some PlayStation life hacks and simple tricks that I use pretty much every single day. Now some of these you might already know and some you may not, but either way we're going to go ahead and get started with tip number one. Now this one lets you see how to get any hidden trophy in any game that you're playing. All you have to do is simply click on the hidden trophy and then press square. And there you have it, it's that simple. Now you know how to get that hidden trophy. Tip number two is handy if you run out of USB ports on your PlayStation. I like to use a USB data hub with mine, which gives me a lot of additional USB 3.0 ports. That way I can charge my phone, I can plug in a microphone, I can charge an extra controller, pretty much whatever I want. And it'll even continue charging my devices while the PlayStation is off because it uses external power. Now the one I use is from Anchor and I have an affiliate link to Amazon in the description box below if you would like to purchase one. Now next one lets you switch quickly between your game and a previous screen or application. All you have to do is simply double tap the PS button on your DualShock controller and your PlayStation will take you back to your last application or screen. This is really handy if you want to quickly switch from your game back to messages and vice versa. Now number four is not one that I use every single day, but it is useful every once in a while if you feel that your PlayStation is running slow. I've covered this in a previous video, but all that you have to do is simply put your PlayStation into safe mode and then rebuild the database. It's quick, it's easy, and you'll have your PlayStation running like brand new in pretty much no time. You can even try using a static background on your home screen to help with menu lag. Both of these work really well, so give them a shot if you want to boost the performance on your PlayStation. Now, next up is one that I think that everyone should do, and that is setting the brightness on your DualShock controller light bar to the dimmest setting. Now doing this is going to extend the battery life of your Bluetooth controller, and you can even take apart your DualShock controller and disconnect the light bar completely if you want. But personally, I just leave mine in dim, and it works really, really well. This next one is great if you have a PS4 Pro and you use an external USB hard drive. Instead of plugging your hard drive in one of the front facing USBs, you can use the hidden USB 3.0 port on the back of the PS4 Pro. Doing this should significantly increase the performance of your USB 3.0 external hard drive. Now number seven is HDMI device link. If you select this option in your PlayStation menu, you should be able to turn on both your PlayStation and your TV at the exact same time, simply by using the PS button. Now keep in mind this will not work with every single TV that's on the market, but it is worth giving it a shot with yours. This next one actually has to do with reducing lag in multiplayer games. If you have a slow internet connection, I actually recommend switching off automatic updates while you're playing multiplayer games to prevent any big downloads from using up your bandwidth, which can actually cause you to lag while you're playing. You're welcome. Number nine helps with slow downloads. If you think that your game or your update is downloading too slow, you can go into your PS4 network settings and change the DNS settings to Google DNS. For a lot of people with slow internet, this actually helps out a lot. Last but not least is tip number 10, and that is upgrading your PlayStation hard drive to an SSD. Now, if you can afford to do this, it really is worth it in my opinion. It definitely speeds up downloads and load times in games, and my PlayStation actually runs quieter and there is no more menu lag whatsoever after doing this. So if you can, give it a shot. I highly recommend it. So there you guys have it. I hope that you all enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you enjoyed these PlayStation life hacks, make sure to leave a like rating, comment below to let me know what you think, and as always, subscribe and ring the bell for post notifications. I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.